Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Very, very special evening for the youth. My song is for the youth today because I want you guys to fight. Because you see so much killing, I want you guys to fight. <clears throat> fight!
Araranu. Para quando sendo you e? And when I settle you, I'm going to transfer you into a family that I've gotten into. school clothes 
Because I know the church has mourners and I want to go. So you have to get your homework out of the way. And so Lord, you're working again. My mother would allow me to go in the morning. That doesn't say I'm coming home early. And that didn't say I was sleeping on the desk next day in school because I was tired. Lord of our lives. Oh 
you that because I see all you, all you have a zest. All you have a drive. I'm asking the ex that are here today. Keep all you in the church. Keep all yourselves in the church. If why right now you're jumping and you're clapping and you're still connected yet to Jesus because you love him, read down and I mean that's nothing wrong with that. The time will come. When what we are doing, because we're going to know, oh, yes. we're going whether you want to believe it or not, we're going. I tell you the patriarch a while ago, we're going. But I'm, I sit down today and I'm watching all you and I say, Jesus. I pick up one or two all you and I say, Yes. I think I kind of say for the faith. Because out of the lot, there must be some one of you that have the key. Whatever the courage you all do, do not fight with each other. Look out for each other. And when your brother or your sister is being challenged by anyone, come down like a hornet's nest and defend him. Remember that. Or we keep courage. Keep strength. Let us give them a hand to run down the
so we should stop it. May God continue to bless you all. Um, and then good evening to all the leaders, mothers, all churches. Good evening. And I am going to cry out in song. Precious Lord. Precious Lord, take
Parker. The Western New World Dictionary defines the word, defines the meaning of the word hearken, means to give careful attention and listen carefully to heed or hear. The word appears in the Bible 153 times. My text for today is taken from Exodus chapter 15, verses 26. If thou wilt hearken diligently to the voice of the Lord thy God, and will do that which is right in his sight, and will give air to his commandments, and keep all his statutes, I will put none of these diseases upon thee, which I have brought upon the Egyptians. For I am the Lord that healeth thee. Saints of God, let our souls like Mary magnify the Lord, and to keep his decree, which is the law's commandment, and most of all, the covenant we have made with him from the time of our forefathers Abraham up until the day when we confirm our agreement through water baptism and the anointing of the Holy Spirit, which is the baptism of fire. Obedience is very important in our spiritual life and Christian walk. If our soul is to be right with God and for us to follow in Jesus' footsteps, this will bring a shield of protection from the various diseases in today's world and which was around from Egypt times. Second Peter chapter 1 verse 10. Peter is saying, Wherefore, the rather brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. Peter wants us in today's church to be steadfast and unmovable, standing in obedience to God. This can only happen if we follow what our brother Timothy says to us in 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needed not to be ashamed, but rightly dividing the word of truth. We can stand on the assurance by letting our souls glorify the Lord and hearken to his call. Such youth like David, Samuel, Joseph, Mary the mother of Jesus, and Elizabeth the mother of John. To hearken unto the voice or call of God, even though we are young and tender in age, can bring to our daily and spiritual living much blessings from God. The word of God in Deuteronomy chapter 28 verses 1 to 28 tells what he will do for us. Blessings shall come to us in the city, our fields, our cattle, the increase of its kind, our baskets and storehouses, our bodies at the right time and age, and to cover it all in our coming in and going out. Amen. To you, my fellow youths and brethren, let us establish a good and clean life to God, yes. our church and its leaders, by keeping away from drugs, guns, gangs, and all other negative that does not comply with the commands and statutes of God, and walk before Him with a pure heart, a renewed mind, and a soul that will hearken to the will of God at all times. Thank you for such a great opportunity, but let me remind you that God's blessings can be found in Deuteronomy. But it continues to tell us in verses 15 to in verses 15 to 63 that we also can be cursed by God. Please read and have a clear understanding about the ways of your God. Thank you. Two roads before you make your choice. God bless. You.
And if I could borrow two minutes of your time, and just sing one second with me, and I'd like only you to stand up wherever you are. Auntie Laura. All the youth to stand up. And for two minutes, let's just sing the same thing with me. I don't have a good voice. But to sing with me, clap your hands and let us show the elders that we can make noise. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 